Hi guys, before the video starts, I just want to say the following footage was recorded over a month ago, I want to say, um, and I apologize about the hiatus. I just couldn't find the motivation to edit the video for some reason. I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be posting still in the winter. I'm, I'm definitely going to be, but probably not as much as I would be in the summer. And I apologize, it's just, it's hard to produce content in the winter. Um, but I'll do my best. Hope you enjoy the video. Hi guys, it's M.I. Herping. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the species of snakes of Michigan. Here I have one of them. This is a Decay's brown snake. Um, now I took this uh, animal out of the wild before I really realized you know that it's not okay to take things out of the wild and at this point i believe bobby is too domesticated to be re-released -re back into the wild um and i particularly do enjoy having bobby um so um bobby is here to stay and uh well uh the species, Decay's brown snakes, um, are related to another species of snake we have here in Michigan, the uh, northern red-bellied snake. Um, they're not to be confused with one another, as red-bellied snakes have, well, um, red bellies. They, um, from the top, they normally look pretty similar, except when uh, red bellies are in their black phase. Um, they're black with a red belly. But, um, I personally have never found a red-bellied snake, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep Bobby in frame. <laughs> um, but, I'm gonna move on, and I'm gonna talk about the snakes that I feel like I really need to talk about. Today, I'm gonna be going over, um, the aggressive snakes, protected snakes, and the one venomous snake in Michigan. Um, or just snakes that, um, I don't know, this stuff I feel like I should go over. Um, so, before I start this, I'm just gonna say, I'm not a genius. I don't know everything there is to know about herpetology. I still have much to learn, especially about these snakes. I'm not the most edu educated, um, Although I am more educated than the average person, I would say. Oh, I think I should start with the Kirtland snake. Oh, sorry about that. Um, the Kirtland snake is an endangered species here in Michigan. And to my knowledge, it is um, protected across all of its range. Uh, they're a very pretty snake. They inhabit um, uh, mostly like stuff involving bodies of water. Small creeks, meadows, um uh, marshlands, uh, stuff of that nature, like wet meadows, um, or prairies, and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, I'll, I'll also be putting up pictures of them. Now, uh, to my knowledge, they are a docile snake. Uh, maybe, uh, they will try to get away from you, but as far as I know, you shouldn't be too worried about getting bit by one. Um, <clears throat> trying to bury into my fingers. <clears throat> uh, like I said, these are a very pretty snake. They're a bucket list snake for me. Uh, very cool looking. <clears throat> and I hope that they do well and become not endangered anymore. Now, I know that was short, <clears throat> but uh, I, I just... I, I feel like I should only go over what I need to go over, just the basic stuff on some of these, some of them. And I just don't know too much. Um, but moving on next, I have the copper-bellied water snake. This is a, another endangered species. Now, most, if not all, Nerodia um, species are very aggressive. They're not venomous, um, and they can be confused with the a uh, copperhead or a cottonmouth at times, uh, which are venomous. However, they, both of those snakes are not native to Michigan, so that is not something 
you have to worry about. Um, so, but um, they all, their other relative that lives here in Michigan, the northern water snake, is um, uh, pretty similar, aggressive, very aggressive, but not venomous. Um, both of these species get four-ish feet long. Hi, you're coming right up to me. Uh, both of these species inhabit uh, bodies of water. Uh, I typically associate water snakes with rivers or creeks, uh, but you can also find them in um, lakes, uh, swamps, marshes, and stuff like that. And now I'm going to talk about the blue racer. So um, the blue racer is another very aggressive species in Michigan. Uh, one of the much larger species of snakes here in Michigan. Just crawled through my hair tie. Um, they get six-ish feet long. Um, I don't see them very often. I haven't seen an alive one in a long, long time. I, I do remember the last time I saw it. I just don't remember how long ago it was. It was a long time ago, though. Um, but they're typically found, uh, in like drier habitats, you know, um, uh, like <clears throat> sandy areas, uh, open fields, plains, stuff like that. That's, that's what I typically associate, uh, blue racers with, or most racers even, uh, although blue racers are the only native racer we have. I've heard of one of my dad's friends. He was telling me that he has a cabin up north, and in the summer he was up there, and he saw some black racers around there, which is pretty interesting. I don't have any reason to not believe him, um, but I don't know. It's just maybe, I don't know. I've never seen a blue racer in shed. Maybe it was in shed, and it made it a lot darker, Or, but he saw several, so I don't know. To my knowledge, there are no records of black racers in Michigan, but that's a very interesting story. And now, um, this snake, um, I'm only going over it because it looks very exotic. The smooth green snake. Um, it's an, I would associate them with being kind of arboreal. Not extremely arboreal, but um, more arbor arboreal than a lot of other snakes we have here in Michigan. They're very smooth, slick, shiny green, and it looks like something exotic and not native. So I thought I would just say that these are in fact a native snake. I'm sorry. There's, they're not anything to worry about. They're not venomous, they're not poisonous, they're none of that, they're not even aggressive. But um, yeah, I just thought I would cover that. So uh, now, the big one. The Massasauga rattlesnake. The only snake that you really, truly need to be scared of. I put that in quotations because in reality, you shouldn't be afraid of any snakes. Um, as long as you just don't mess around with them very much, you should be totally fine. Uh, you just don't provoke them or anything. Um... Now, you can usually find these guys in prairies and meadows. Um, from what I've read up on, more kind of wet prairies and meadows. Sorry, I'm trying to keep Bobby on camera as much as I can. <laughs> um, if you do handle these snakes, make sure to use a snake hook. Never use your hands, ever. Unless you're in some kind of field where you're extracting the venom or whatever, just like, but obviously you already know what you're doing and I don't have to say that. And it's not like anybody like that is probably going to be watching my videos. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. But uh, they can be confused with um, hog noses a lot. Hog noses are very harmless. Um, they can be aggressive, but they will not 
hardly ever bite. Uh, from what I've heard from people, I've never heard of a actual hognose bite. Here in Michigan, we have the eastern hognose snake. Um, they're a very thick snake. Uh, they puff up like cobras, but they're not... They're, they're rear-fanged venomous, uh, which is not anything we have to worry about. Uh, as far as... I, I'm pretty sure garter snakes are even rear-fanged venomous, um, which I'm not exactly sure what it means, but from what I can understand, it means we don't have to worry about it. So, another thing that Massasauga rattlesnakes can be confused with are milk snakes. Um... Some eastern milk snakes can get a very dull, tannish, brownish, grayish pattern that can maybe even be confused with northern water snakes, which is another thing Massasaugas can probably be mistaken for. Um, but neither of these things are things you have to worry about. Um, I Maybe you, you could even mistake it for a Kritlin snake, but I don't know. Eastern fox snakes and western fox snakes are also something you could probably mistake them for. Which, by the way, fox snakes are a type of rat snake. Um, I just thought I would say that. So, um, you know, I, I know I didn't give a whole lot of information. Just, I feel like there's not very much to tell at the, at the time. I'm not the most educated, um... And in the future, if I'm still making videos, which I really hope I am, um, I'll probably do an update video. I'll do a remake of this, and I'll have it be more educational. I'll be more educated. I'll have more to tell you guys, hopefully. Um, I just, I, I wanted to get what I could out about this topic because it's a topic I really want people to talk about more i honestly think it should be taught in schools um we should learn about our native reptiles and amphibians especially the ones that we need to be concerned about not necessarily afraid of but we just need to be careful of be wary of um so that's why i made this all right that'll be it um it was good updating you guys in my room um, and, uh, hopefully I can keep producing good content over the winter months when I can't actually go and hurt. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share it, tell your friends about it. Just do whatever. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.